Hi there, this is Lee Posky. I support no political entity, nor do I vote for anyone anymore. My hope is in the risen Lord Jesus Christ alone, and I urge you to do likewise. This issue regarding Trump is not about politics, but about the greater issue of the sin of exalting oneself. I take no joy in this message, but I can't not proclaim it. Listen to the word of God in Isaiah chapter 14. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation." in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. That's what God thinks of the sin of self-exaltation, which is what Trump does only constantly. I think on this as I see people all around me who claim to be Christian while supporting Trump and regarding him as a righteous man who's on a mission from God. And it's utterly disgusting to watch their blasphemy against God in their errant proclamation that God is in alliance with such an overt agent of Satan. God is using Trump, however, but not as an ally that they so sinfully proclaim, but as a disposable vessel of dishonor like Pharaoh and Judas Iscariot. Hear me clearly. Trump has a satanic spirit within him that compels him to exalt himself as a savior of man. Trump is full of wicked pride, which is the most evil of all sins against God. And Trump's headed for the same rightful judgment and horror from God that his spiritual father Satan faces. This situation is so crystal clear. And 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 tells us exactly what's happening with Trump supporters. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned, who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Understand this. You who align yourself with Trump, you are taking sides against God. You're taking sides with the overt kingdom of Satan. Repent of your wicked heart of idolatry and unbelief, and turn to Christ while you still can. If you refuse, I have this to say to you from Revelation 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. All glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ and no glory to us whatsoever.